Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT Smart Energy Meter System. So in this project, we are going to control the four devices with the help of Blink application using ESP8266 module. And parallelly, we are going to measuring the this particular load energy consumption details on our Blink application. So here. So and also we set the limits for this load for example in our project we set the limit for 0.3 kilowatt hour whenever it crosses that so the system won't uh, disconnect the power supply but it will send the message alerts through the app notifications there we get the high alerts the alert is going to be the high uh, power consumption by this load then if you want to disconnect the power supply to that load so same we can control that from this buttons like light and this is going to be the TV and this is the fan 1 and fan 2. So here the interfacing are like we are providing 230 volts input to the whole system. So that will parallelly given to the energy meter and after that energy meter parallelly to this load and uh, parallelly to this uh, like a uh, load of this uh, 3 pin socket and also we are providing the DC power supply to these two DC fans. So like the tra transformer will take 230 volts input AC and will provide the 12 volts AC output and that was given to the input to this regulated power supply board. There we will get the 12 volts uh, input to this AC and the bridge rectifier will provide the pulsating DC and the smoothing capacitor will provide pure DC voltage and after this 7805 regulator we will get 5 volts. That 5 volts given input to the ESP8266 module as well as to the Arduino Uno board and this is the 12 volts given to these two fans through the two electromagnetic relays and here we have interfaced the energy meter to the Uno board through this optocoupler PC817 the main purpose of this one is so to measure the load we are going to get the pulse input from this LED so we can connect the LED directly to the Arduino but if is there any short circuit or high uh, like fluctuations occurred then it may damage our Uno board. So instead of direct connection we are making use of opto coupler nothing but optically coupled PC817 IC. So the pulses will be given to this one and in this IC there is a photo transistor and a resistor so that it will provide the same pulses to the Uno board. If is there any fluctuations occurred from this energy meter only this particular IC will get damaged so there is no harmful to our Uno board. And here interfacing connections are like ESP8266 module interface edge, 8 and 9 pins and uh, these 4 relays edge 10, 11, 12, 13 pins directly and remaining is 5 volts power supply to the input and output modules. So let us see the demonstration before switching on these kits we need to enable the hotspot in a phone. So go to hotspot settings and change the hotspot name to project 5080 without any space without any capital letter and the password should be 129 on the data and the hotspots <coughs> and log into the blink application from the given credentials and then switch on the cage so there we can see there is a one red icon here initially so it's showing the device is offline once the device is connected right now there is no red mark here so now we can control the devices let us see fan so the fan 2 is controlled is rotating now off. So the same application uh, visual indication on the relay board also we can observe that 4 relay board. So on fan 1 and again same fan 2 got switched on and the AC load also got switched on and the load got switched on. Right. So for the AC load we can see this. So it is on condition now. So I am switching off that it will be off right so I'm switching on the LED sorry bulk so let us wait till the Arduino you know calculate the power consumption details once the power consumption details are increased above 0.3 kilowatt hour then you will get the application notification into your app so right we can see that so the system is sending the data so let it settle down so when it crosses the 0.3 kilowatt hour mm -hmm. 
you should enable the notification alerts in your phone then you will get the notification alerts so till now we waited that so right, when it crosses the 0 0.03 kilowatt hour there you will get the alert high load consumption so it's keep on sending the alerts then you can switch off this device right at the same time remaining all device also can be controlled so till you reset the system it's keep on sending the alert messages to your phone then this is the restart switch so there is a restart switch this is the restart switch to restart the microcontroller right so after some after some time the system will be stabilized and will provide us the zero zero readings so wait for around 10 to 15 seconds So right, so now it is zero zero. So then Hello. back to a normal position and we can control the right.